Well, here we are in the bunker again, trying to make it your friend. A lot of times in the bunker, I tend to see people using the wrong wrist hinge. When you use the wrong wrist hinge, it's very, very difficult for you to go down and through the sand enough to get the ball up and out. It tends to come out low and flat. It tends to come out with very little spin, and it also tends to come out a little fast. So what you need to do when you set up in the bunker, you need to hinge your wrist. Make the L's form between your hands, arms, and the club shaft. You have a light grip pressure, you need to make the L's. That increases the angle of attack and causes you to go into the sand. The whole key to getting this ball out of the bunker is to go into the sand. If you come in here and you have a very moderate wrist hinge or very little wrist hinge, you come in so shallow, it's real easy to leave the ball in the bunker and it's also easy to belt it over the back of the green. So all we're going to do, hinge our wrist, here we go, hinge and go. And you can see when I hinge the wrist, the club goes into the sand, ball comes out high and soft with a lot of spin. Remember, wrist hinge is absolutely important in the bunker. If you have no wrist hinge, you have no chance. Try it.